Hey kids are cool. Welcome back to Sunday School. I'm teacher Monique and today we're going to be watching a skit on being submissive to God. But before we do that, let's go ahead and pray. Go ahead and close your eyes. Lord Father God, we just thank you right now, Lord Father God, for everything that you're doing, Lord Father God. Thank you for this day, Lord Father God. Thank you for waking us up this morning, Lord Father God. Thank you for putting this lesson here for us to learn about you, Lord Father God, and how to be kinder, Lord Father God. We just thank you for what you're doing, Lord Father God, everything that you're going to teach us, Lord Father God. We just pray, Lord Father God, that you keep us safe, Lord Father God, and healthy, Lord Father God. We just thank you and praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. So go ahead and listen to your worship song by clicking the link and then enjoy the skit. Jimbo, how's it going? Hey, Jess. It's going pretty good. So did you hear what the teacher wants us to do? Yeah, she wants us to. Yeah, she wants us to read this entire book, answer all the questions after each chapter, plus fill out a study guide, and take a test? Yeah, so? It's just so not fair. Would you just rather read the book and take a test? Well, no, I'd rather not read the book or take the test at all. Jess, you know this book is required by the district. Plus, the teacher has a reason for doing things this way. I heard it is a hard book to understand. Exactly. <sighs> but again, since we have to read it, she's giving us work to do that will help us prepare for that test. But it's just a lot of work. Then don't do all of it. Well, but then... Then just wait and see what you get on the test. Oh, Jimbo, why do we even have to obey the teacher? I don't even like her. Um, you were in Sunday school, right? Yeah. Remember how we talked about submitting? Yeah, but submitting to God has nothing to do with my homework. Are you sure? Well, yeah. No, I think so. Look, this is how I see it. I see doing all my homework like my teacher asked me to do as a submitting to my teacher. And? I use it as um, practice. I think it will be easier to submit to God, who I can't see, after I've practiced submitting to my parents and teachers, who I can't see. Oh, I see. I think it is always hard to submit to someone, but if you can do it often with those in authority over you, then you might find it a little easier to submit to God. So like it says in James, submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee from you. You got it, so let's get it done. Welcome back, guys. I hope you enjoyed that skit about being submissive to God. Being submissive is not easy, but it is something that can be learned from those in authority, such as parents, Sunday school teachers, school teachers, babysitters, aunts, uncles, etc. Let's see what the Bible has to say about being submissive in James chapter 4 verse 1 through 10 so let's go ahead and open our bibles what causes fights and quarrels among you don't they come from your desires that battle within you you desire but do not have so you kill you covet but you cannot get what you want so you quarrel and fight you do not have because you do not ask when you ask, you do not receive, because you ask with wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Or do you think scripture says, without reason, that he jealously longs for the spirit he has caused to dwell in us? But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, 
God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil, and he will flee you from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. So now let's go over a couple of questions that we have. James also says, Anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. He says that in James um, chapter 4, verse 4. What do you think that has to do with adultery? Any guesses? When we choose, to, when we choose the world over God, we are not being faithful to him. Now let's go to our next question. What does God oppose the proud but give grace to the humble mean? What do you guys think it means? Well, people who are proud are going to get in trouble, but those who are humble will be rewarded. Now let's move on. Does it comfort you to know that if you come near to God, he will come near to you? If you take the first step towards God, he will be waiting there. For you. Now just think about that. Think about God being there for you and any troubles that you have, He's always there. Now, how do you guys think we can purify our hearts? Well, in my opinion, I think by listening to God and what He has for us is a way to purify our heart. Now let's move on to the next question Why does James want us to be sad in verse 9? He doesn't really want us to be sad, but he wants us to know that we are sinners and that we need God and that we are sorry for our mistakes. Usually when you get in trouble and you realize what you did was not good, you tend to feel bad, right? Sometimes we will feel so bad, we might even cry. But that is what James is really talking about. Now, I have one more question for you guys. Are you going to submit or humble yourselves before the Lord every single day? You don't have to answer that right now, but just go ahead and think about it. But now that we've gone all over our questions, I just want you guys to remember that is important is it important for us to read our memory verse, which is James 4 verse 7. Now let's go ahead and read that one more time. And it says, "Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you." So what that means is as long as you submit to God and do His will, we will not fall for the lies of the enemy. I hope that you guys enjoyed today's lesson. But before we go ahead and listen to our goodbye song, let's go ahead and close our eyes and close out in prayer. Okay? Lord Father God, we just thank you right now, Lord Father God, for this lesson, Lord Father God, that you're trying to teach us, Lord Father God, to be submissive to you, Lord Father God, and listen to what you have for us, Lord Father God. I just pray that we humble ourselves, Lord Father God, to your word, Lord Father God. I just pray for everyone, Lord Father God, that you keep us safe, Lord Father God, and just that we take from this lesson, Lord Father God. We just thank you, we praise you, in Jesus' name, amen. I love and miss you guys. Bye!